This is certainly one of the craziest and most powerful set of sessions I've ever conducted. I have no way of knowing for sure if I was truly connecting with Marilyn Monroe. You will have to decide. Everything I do is 100% real and done with nothing but love and respect. So one, another opportunity for you to say whatever it is you want, Marilyn. I have just stood and prayed and experienced an amazing experience. Is there anything that you want to say now? So we are on and it's Deborah and I, my teacher, who I will be co-teaching this class with this master class coming up and this is exciting. Deborah the other night before going to sleep felt the request of Marilyn Monroe uh, that she wanted to speak and Deborah was too tired and at that moment but invited her to come back and to speak to her. Um, when she told me this I said this would be a great opportunity to ask for Marilyn through the box. Now we just did a grounding exercise, a visualization, one that we're gonna be teaching in the class and going through. We just did this together and we envisioned and saw Marilyn coming into the space um, to communicate. Now we don't know if she'll be able to use it, um, but we're gonna try. So Marilyn, just try to use this. I'm gonna ask you a question and then I'm gonna turn this dial and let some sound through and there's sound waves that you should be able to imprint your your uh, response in. Hopefully the guides will help you. Um, if we don't hear you, don't think it's not working. I just have to maybe go back and listen. So Marilyn Monroe, I saw you walk in. How are you? Something you, I heard me, the word me in there. Okay, let's go ahead. De I'm gonna have Deborah ask a question to you right now. Um, so let's let's try this out, okay. Um, any introductory or any kind of initial question you wanna ask? Yeah, just, um, just where are you? And, and you, what makes you want to communicate right now? Is there something you'd like to tell us? I guess it's two questions. What, what would you like to communicate to us? What's interesting about that response is Deborah teaches us to use a flower as a tool in order to connect. We are to see a flower in our minds and then drop the person's name into it. It is a very effective way of connecting with energy. Before I ask you any questions about your life or anything else, but you know, you came to Deborah or maybe you wanted to speak. How come? crazy storm outside going right now all right um, we're gonna I'm gonna just try a couple things with you and again like I said I'm not gonna keep you long but I see you sitting there at the table I'm envisioning you there I'm seeing you there and I put my hand on your shoulder briefly just to kind of kind of connect a little bit so I'm not trying to invade your space in any way um, but just trying to connect a little bit um, how are you doing on the other side? Um. Hold on, how about now? Um. Yeah, it sounds like you're using it and I'm sorry that I can't hear you in real time or understand you in real time. 
I've got your beautiful picture right here on the box. Um, when, when we're hearing um, the, the voice, is, are you doing anything? I am else? now, yes, I'm working at where I have her voice track and then we're asking a question and then I'm turning a dial to allow some of that raw sound to come into the box for her to formulate her response within those couple seconds of raw sound. It's a focused technique for her to use her own voice. We don't know. I feel like she is. I see her there. I've heard me. I hear I. I hear some other indicative type sounds that would mean that she's probably using it. I just, I'm not hearing it in real time. It really feels like you wanted to come through and you wanted this honor. You know that I maybe are doing these types of sessions and of course that you know you can see that Deborah's a very powerful medium psychic. She's, you know, is there anything that you want to share with us? Okay. Are are you have you had any experience with God or a higher power, the light? Have you experienced anything like that? I thought I heard the word God. I'm just I just want the most important message to come out or for you to be able to say it, whatever it was that you wanted to come to Deborah for, or whatever message you wanted to bring, you know, I want to make sure you have a chance to, you know, to say that. Um, so one, another opportunity for you to say whatever it is you want, Marilyn. sound like responses that one just sounded like something very it's like she said a, a, like a statement or a phrase all right why don't you ask something else uh, who who's the man with you right now can you can you tell us who's with you right now because i'm seeing a man <laughs> Is that man, th this sounds weird, but it almost feels, when she said that and I was tuning into that, it almost feels like this is still some kind of like security or some kind of like, like an angel or guard, some kind of assistance of some kind. Is that who that was? Yeah, see these sound like responses. Um, I may ask for you again, Marilyn, but what is the most important thing that you want to say today on your own? Okay. All right, I'm going to ask you one question on this recorder, so just hang in there with me, okay? Just for another couple minutes, all right? Many of these responses were undeniably clear, but why would Marilyn Monroe, after more than 60 years of being deceased, still need help? I needed to do more and see if I could find out. The 18th of March, a little before 3 a.m., after reviewing the responses from the other night with Marilyn, the other day, the session I did with Deborah, my teacher, and asking for Marilyn, it seemed like I needed to ask for her again. And I've just intuitively focused on her and connected with her and I see her and I feel like I'm hearing her. Now I'm gonna turn on the box. 
use the Hope voice signature method with her wordless sound bank. And then I'm going to shut the cameras off and I'm going to pray. Regardless of whether she needs the help or not, I'm just going to offer that assistance. Marilyn Monroe, I'm listening. Are you here? I feel you here. That's me. Yeah, see, you used this so well the other day. And I feel you. And I felt you strong and I felt you again tonight as I'm connecting with you. I told you earlier that I was gonna ask for you. And it sounds like you want the light. It sounds like you're asking for help, that you wanted to meet God. And it's hard for me to understand that you haven't felt this yet. But if for some reason I am one of those people that are able to help on some level, then I will do that because that's what I am meant to do. You look wonderful. You look absolutely stunning. How do you feel right now? How do you feel? You look amazing. Okay. Gotta make it a little louder. When I pray with you, I'm gonna need you to pray with me. Um, I need you to respond though, that you hear me, that you understand, that you will follow along with me and pray with me. All right, I'm gonna ask you to answer that if you can. So here we go. Will you pray along with me when I do that with you? I can't wait, it sounds like. Okay. Well, I'm not going to keep asking you a bunch of questions. I'm not here to keep recording you. I'm not here to get sound bites only. Of course, confirmation. I've heard enough as far as I'm concerned that, that you, you know, you're looking for help to the next level, that you want to feel joy. You want to feel that light. And I'm going to tell you something. Nothing in this life, nothing in the life that you even lived, and I know you said it was terrible, but no matter, and you know it, no matter how much glamour or how much riches or fame that we can get here on this plane, nothing replaces that of the love of Christ, the love of God, the, the light from that source. And you understand that more than anybody now, don't you? Save me, bait. I don't know. I didn't hear that correctly. But I'm recording you, and you know that's how this works, and I think you understand a little bit more about it. Let me ask you something. It's been a while since you've passed. Has it felt that long to you, or does it feel shorter to you? Just help us understand. Help us. People will want to know more. They'll want to know that you got help or that you were helped to the next level or that, you know, that the help that you were looking for that you're getting. But we can learn from this. Help us learn a little bit more. What have you been doing since you've been on the other side, since you passed from here? I'm using a wordless track of just the sound of Marilyn's voice, another voice came through saying Marilyn must go. For me, this felt like a guide saying if we are to help her, we needed to do it now. 
All right, a couple more questions, and I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect this, or I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna pray, and then I may just turn it back on for a second to hear you give me any other final response. But is there anything that you want to say on your own? Anything I'm not asking you properly? Anything you want to say on your own, Marilyn? No. Okay, so no and then something else. All right, something pray maybe. Okay, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. I'm going to stop the camera. We're going to pray. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to invite you to stand with me. Okay, are you ready? Again, there's no question that the soul I'm connecting with is asking for help. It is consistent with what was captured two days prior. Whether it is actually Marilyn Monroe or not is irrelevant at this point. My job is to pray to God and to visualize the light, which is exactly what I did. Okay, I have just stood and prayed and experienced it's, uh, an amazing experience. Marilyn, I'm not going to keep you. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go into the space that I'm seeing, the light that I'm seeing for you. Is there anything that you want to say now? I see light. Are you feeling what I'm seeing? Are you experiencing it? I'm going to end this and I'm going to continue to pray for you for a little bit more with the cameras off. Anything else you want to say? You're a beautiful soul. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to continue to pray for you. And it's been an honor and a blessing to communicate with such a beautiful soul, Marilyn. For me, it doesn't get any better than this. And normally I would just leave it be. But because this was such an iconic figure who died over 60 years ago, I wanted to ask my guides more about this. All right, just a few questions now about Marilyn Monroe. For the people that are going to see the video, watch this video, reaching out to Marilyn Monroe, was that Marilyn Monroe that we were able to reach. Now again, it's important that I clarify that I believe that we reached her, but it is hard for anyone to comprehend that someone that has been deceased that long was that famous would still need help. Is there anything you guys can say regarding that? She's, She's a something, okay. Were we able to help Marilyn Monroe? want to say regarding this help 
that I'm offering, that I'm praying for, that I'm envisioning, the help that you guys are offering? Is there anything else that you guys want to say regarding this help? I thank you guys and I love you and I appreciate you and even though it's confusing and difficult at times and I'm sure you're frustrated with me on different things ultimately this works it's miraculous I'm grateful to Jesus Christ and the gurus and the saints and all of you that do this this work thank you from the bottom of my heart <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. I love you. Those were powerfully clear and direct responses confirming that not only did we help Marilyn, but that this work is helping many more. After some time, I decided to ask for Marilyn once more to see how she was doing. Once more, I connected and saw her there, but this time, she was happier and full of more energy. So Marilyn, I'm going to ask you, I see you there. How are you doing? <laughs> Have you experienced a better, have you had a better experience? Have you felt the light more? Have you m moved up since we've talked, since we've, since we did our session? receiving help is there anything more that I could do for you you can see you know, I know you said connect, and I envision tonight just actually really connecting with you intuitively. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to do. Is that something that you want to do? Yes. Sounds like you said yes, something. That's correct, right? You know, I, I just don't want to be reading you wrong. And I don't want to keep you long and keep asking for you. Did you want to come back through? Did you want to, did you want me to ask for you again? How do you know about what it is that I do? Do more people watch what I'm doing, what other spirit communicators and people like myself are doing. Are people watching this or do you, do you have more knowledge of this? Um, okay. Is there anything else that you want to say on your own? you I heard there's more I don't know wow souls come down from heaven each month to communicate with their loved ones in my group sessions so I wasn't concerned asking for her again the goal was to see if she truly found the help she was looking for to me it sounded like she did this last time connecting with her felt completely different than the first time. She looked and sounded happier. When I shut the camera off to connect with her better, 
we just sat there together, experiencing this bright, warm light without talking. It was beautiful. It was perfect. When it was done, we hugged and I saw her leave. This next response validates that. Well, we just, again, had another powerful experience. Did you feel it? Thank you, Marilyn.